Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 25 in our series, statelesscode.com WordPress. So I've got the the comments and everything working, the um, responsive stuff on the, the pages and the nav. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better. And I think it's a releasable increment. So I'm going to uh, release this to production. So let's start with this. We will, uh, so the one thing I'm gonna do is so that I can uh, revert if I need to. Um, I'm going to, each time I do a release of this, I'm going to change the name of the theme so that it's distinct from um, from the previous one and I can identify and toggle back and forth for it. So I'm going to go into the style.scss I'm just going to put the version number as part of the theme name and then once I've got that um, once I'm confident of that working the way I want it to then I can um, decommission the old one so do that Do a one liner here. All right, so we've got it pushed. Now let's do yarn build production. We have compiled successfully. Let's take a look at. I wonder if the. Yeah, it's the dev. It's the. Yarn build production seems to um, cause issues with this manifest.js.map. still adding the classes in and everything. I think it's just a just a an error in the console and not affecting functionality. We'll find out. I'll revert back and fix it if I, I do have that in the backlog, but I don't necessarily think I need to fix it right now. So now we need to to zip this. Got that. Now I can just do a. I think I can just do a history grep SCP, and I'll pause and make sure I don't have anything that I don't want to show there. All right. So let me. So this 
now becomes 0 0.2.0 that I want to upload. SSH into it. Zip. I think I need to make the directory first. Now unzip. Zip it. Let that finish. So up one directory higher than I want to be. So worst case scenario, I have to re-upload it. But now I can go into my dashboard, refresh, make sure that I can. Now I go to themes. Two point zero point two point oh. Go into live preview. Make sure everything is all right. So I need to fix my block stuff, but for the most part, it's giving me what I want. So I will activate and publish that. And then I'll fix my my widgets. So we've got the logout. We've got our categories. Oh, I don't have them all grouped together, so I'll pause and group everything properly. All right, this. At least in the preview, isn't looking great, but I will publish my sidebar and then. Looks like something's gone wrong. Wait a couple of seconds and then try again.
All right, so let's see what things look like live here. Oh, it. it appears to look all right. Maybe I was. I mean, so it'd be nice to have a, a logout icon or something there, but. back to our main page. All right, that's progress, I think. So the next thing we need is a, uh, we'll, we'll hit is the navigation, but I need to produce some content to uh, get that, to make that net navigation more meaningful. But uh, I think we'll, um, chalk that up as a uh, step in the right, right direction. All this is working. If I go in here, I try to look at all this stuff. The styling looks all right. The post comment button, I should probably make it do something on hover, but uh, it's It's decent. We will uh, call this a, a release and we'll do the retrospective in our next episode. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end to end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.